What's up, DC? I'm Logan. And I'm Nick. It's Monday, January 9th, and today is National Static Electricity Day. Here's the news. Congrats to our girls swim team for finishing first in the city county swim meet last week. DCHS was second overall. Samantha Phillips set a city record in the 100 fly and Emma Fenwick set a city record in the 100 breaststroke. Also congratulations to Lily Scott who won the city county dive meet and Emily Clark who finished second. This weekend the NJROTC orienteering team went to Camp Barren Ridge for the Race to the Flag competition, a 6.7 kilometer orienteering race with a temperature of 14 degrees. In the male team competition, the team of Mark Cannon, Logan Sayer, and Jacob Goldman finished the course in 1 hour, 8 minutes, and 18 seconds. The team of Bobby Barnett, Bo King, and Miles Harvey came in second with a time of 1 hour, 20 minutes, and 44 seconds. In female team competition, the team of Sydney Payne, Shelby Taylor, and Corey McIntyre Finished first with three penalties with a time of 1 hour, 50 minutes, and 18 seconds. Congrats to them all. Also, congratulations to the Pantherettes for taking first place in two divisions in the Louisville Invitational Dance Competition. Attention juniors, if you apply for the Kenji Washington Youth Tour, the essay is due on January 15th. Please get those in as soon as you can. See Ms. Powers and Guidance for more info. Attention girls, if you are interested in running track, you need to see Miss Fortney in room 222. Track practice for sprinters and throwers will start tomorrow. Sometime this week you will see a folder in your Google Drive account that is your saved work from your P drive. Anytime you save anything to the P drive now, it will be synced to the Google Drive as well. Now stay tuned for this short video for further explanation. Hello, I'm excited to announce the release of a project your DCPS Computer Operations Department has been working on for months. The synchronization of files between our locally controlled P drive where students store literacy works and a folder on each student's Google Drive. Now students with Chromebooks can save writing pieces where teachers can have long-term access. Computer Operations has already moved and synced over 300 gigabytes of student work in preparation for going live. Soon, each student will receive an email letting them know the shared folder has been created. Until Computer Ops automates this syncing process, Students may get this email multiple times. Students will now see a first name dot last name folder in their shared with me folder in Google Drive. Students should select the new folder once and click the add to my drive button. Anything the student saves to this new Google Drive folder will sync to the P drive and vice versa. Students should remember that the P drive and its newly linked folder are not the place for personal files. Only long-term literacy works belong in this folder. Personal files should be stored in other folders. Teachers can once again use the Windows search tool to find student works saved to the P drive. As a point of clarification, work that is turned in on Google Classroom saves in the Google Classroom folder only. If you want items saved to the P drive folder, students need to do precisely that. This work is directly related to the requests of many teachers. We hope it proves to do the job with ease. As always, please send any questions to your TIS or STC. Thanks and have a great day. Attention students, join us in the DC Media Center on Monday, January 30th during CCR for Maker Monday to learn how to do string art. Participants will look for their own de designs, print their own patterns, and hammer their own nails and use string to bring the whole design alive. All supplies will be provided. If there is more time needed to finish, students may come to the DC Maker Space on Friday, February 3rd, Monday, February 6th, and Friday, February 10th. These would make a great Valentine's Day present for that special someone or awesome bedroom decor. Participation is limited to the first 24 students who register. Check your DCPS email for the registration link. Are you starting to think about getting a summer job? There are many jobs out there that will require you to have a CPR certification, and DCHS is offering CPR certification for free. All you have to do is pay the fee for the certification card, only $8, and if that $8 is an issue for you, just let us know. 
Classes start on January 9th after school in the Media Center from 4 to 7 p.m. Snacks will be provided, but sign-ups are on a first-come, first-served basis. So be sure to sign up in Guidance Office to pay your $8. See Ms. Kimbrell in Guidance if you have any questions. Attention students, the Davis County Public Library will be hosting two new team programs in January. Today from 4 to 5 p.m., the library will be holding the first meeting of their new bi-monthly teen book club, Teen Reads. Book lovers ages 13 to 18 are welcome to attend and discuss their favorite books, and there are no assigned readings. On Friday, January 13th from 4 to 6 p.m., the library will be holding the first meeting of another bi-monthly teen program, TWP, the Teen Writing Program. TWP is an informal writing workshop where teens can come to get feedback and share their writing with other teens. Both of these programs were designed and planned by members of DCPL's Teen Advisory Board, and the programs themselves will be led by the teens. And now this week's editions of Powers Points. Hey DC family, hope you guys had a great weekend, you're ready for another good week. Um, this week at Davis King High School, I want to talk to you today about uh, changing the way you think. Uh, basically a lot, a lot of what happens in your life has to do and it starts with what's in your head. So uh, the message today is entitled Change the Way You Think. The way that you think determines the way you feel and the way that you feel determines the way you act. So again, it starts with thinking. So we can change the way we feel by how we think. And in turn, we can affect the way we act. So uh, it really, again, it starts in your mind. You bring about what you think about. I heard that said one time, I really like that. I'll say it again, you bring about what you think about. So anything that you think about, you tend to bring about in your life. Um, so what that says to me is the more positive things that I think about, the, the more hope that I have in my life, um, typically I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring about more positive, more hopeful type of events and, and vice versa. So uh, we control our feelings by changing the way we think. Let me give you some examples. Uh, school, for instance, many times I can remember you might be the same way, uh, you know, I would when I was younger, sometimes I would think, oh, it would be nice not to have to go to school today, or what would it be like if I didn't go to school? Then, you could think of it that way, and that's a negative, because, oh, I've got so much homework to do, I've got to read. You know, reading was not one of my passions when I was younger, uh, but as I've aged, uh, it's something that I do, and I, and I enjoy doing, um, depending on the topic, but, but I know if I change the way I think about reading, or if I change the way I think about doing math, Math was never a strong suit for me, but I knew that that's something that I had to get better at. Um, so again, it starts in your mind. Start thinking of things differently. I get to go to school. I get to read. You know, I have the opportunities to do that. I've been given the abilities to do that. So that's going to help me in my life later on if I continue to work on these areas to improve. Exercise. You know, sometimes we dread exercising. Uh, I can remember being young and, and really didn't enjoy running. I only ran because I, uh, I knew that I played basketball and in order to get in shape we had to run. Uh, as I've gotten older, I start looking at running differently. I used to not think of myself as a runner. And even when I ran, uh, for a while, it took me a while to really think. But again, it went into my head and finally it clicked and I started thinking of running differently. I started looking at it like this is an opportunity. I, I get to run. I, get, I have the ability to do this and it's helping me making me become a better person, I'm a healthier person. Um, sometimes relationships can be in the same way. We look at a person and we think, man, I don't like that person, either because of the way they act, the way they think, the way they treat me. You know, hurt people hurt other people. Um, and sometimes you gotta look at it that way. You gotta change the way you think about that person. This is someone's daughter, this is someone's son, this is someone's dad, grandfather, grandmother, this is someone's child. Um, you know, you don't know what they've gone through. Maybe they've had a tough past. Maybe someone's hurt them and that's why they're hurt and they're bitter. So kind of look at things in context and, and look at the person and, and again, it starts in your mind the way you think. Uh, focus on the things you can control. It's a choice that we make each and every day. Um, hope those things helped you guys today. Um, it's all about your mind. It, it starts in your mind thinking how you think. Um, hopefully, you know, you, if you're a negative person, then if you look at it and think to myself, 
you know, I can change that. I have control of how I think, what I put into my brain, what I put into my mind. Um, be positive, help others to be positive, uh, help others in their thinking. Um, so I want to give a shout out to uh, Jansen Todd. Uh, he reminded me the other day that uh, it's cold outside, so bundle up, and uh, it's, it's big coach season, so don't forget that. All right, you guys have a great day and a great week, and stay classy. Attention students, sign up for intramural basketball has begun. Packets can be picked up in the front office during lunch or after school. See Coach Brandon for more information. Here's what's going on today at D.C. The D.C. bowling team is taking on Apollo at 4.30 at Diamond Lane South. The girls basketball team is taking on Ohio County with the JV game starting at 5.30 and the varsity game starting at 7.00. There's a Pantherette parent meeting tonight at 5.30 in the Media Center. And the Academy of Young Leaders is meeting at 6 in the cafeteria. That's all your news for today, DC. Stay classy.